Hello, and welcome to another episode of Actors Corner. Today we have a very special guest, Mr. Scott Bayo. Scott, how are you doing today? Good, Bill. Nice it's to good. see you. I just want to tell you, you know, we were studying some of the movies you've been in, and uh, I was very impressed with uh, your role in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I thought you really did a nice job in that. Yeah, did I, you, I, no, I wasn't did, in Ferris Bueller. Did, no, did you have to study that role in order to really de- no, was, delve I, I, into the I, person I, I, that you were? I wasn't you, know what, you know what I really liked was the time that you were in that movie, um, uh, you think it was... 48 hours. Yeah, I thought the action role you played was really exciting. When you were running down the street with the, with the machine gun and all the Bill, explosions. I wasn't, I, Bill, I wasn't yeah, that was really hours. good. I wasn't in 48 That was Eddie Murphy and Nick Nolte. And when you were on uh, Home uh, Family Ties? Yeah. I remember that, too. Yeah. That was a good one. I wasn't in that. Uh, you, you played, you played the, the, the... Listen. <laughs> that was really an exciting role on Family Ties. Family Ties, Alex Keaton? That was, probably, that was actually that was actually a tough role to play because I I I, I had to like completely transform my entire body. It was hard. I, I had to make myself about uh, five inches shorter, and um, and, and you know I I actually if I, I don't mean to brag here, but I kind of outdid De Niro in Raging Bull. I had to just almost morph into a whole other human being from Canada. It was bizarre, but I, I got through it for, for seven or eight years. I see. But thanks for, thanks for recognizing you about, the work. How about the love scenes you did with Lydia Cornell in Star Wars? Um, are you just a f***ing <laughs> Join us again next week for another episode of The Actor's Corner with William C. Zuckerberg.